Hey everybody, it's Comphelp. Thank you for watching this video in which I will show you how to make a transparent watermark. Let me go ahead and give you an example here what I mean. It's a transparent text watermark. See how it's a text? In my last videos, it used to be like a circle logo. And actually the text is a lot better because it defines you. You know, it's like, okay, it's this guy's video. Um, you know, it's not going to be this icon that really anybody can steal these days. And yeah, you know, this really, okay, this is the channel I go to. This is what... This is who the video belongs to. So people are wondering, how do you do that? I don't get how you do that because mine always has like a background or something. Well, what we're going to do here is open up Adobe Photoshop here. Okay. And we're going to go to file and new. Now I like to make mine 1,280 by 720 pixels because that's the f uh, video size that I render in and I upload in that size so I can get some HD 720p quality. Okay. Um, whatever you render in, make sure it's that size. Now, the background contents, transparent, okay, that is very important. This way you don't have a background color to square off your image. Great, let's click OK, and we are good to rock as soon as this pops up. <laughs> okay, so right here, this is really how big the video is. This is 1280 by 720 pixels, okay, that's widescreen HD. Now, I like to make it this, this big so I can actually see and compare my uh, watermark size to this. So what I'm going to do is make a new layer. Okay, and actually, well, that was probably pointless. <laughs> Just click text, this text over here. Click, and uh, let's go ahead. Ooh, it's not the color I want it to be. Let's go, I'm going to change the color up here really quick. All right. YouTube.com slash VV comp help VV. So comp help. YouTube.com slash comp help. Great. Um, what you have to do now is highlight the text and go find a font that you like. So highlight it and just click. Click so it's highlighted. Now you can use your arrows to look for a, uh, a font that you want to use. Now, when choosing this, you don't really want a font like this because it's not really easy to read. It's it's not easy on the eyes. What you want is something kind of just something kind of plain, something very simple to read. Okay. Okay. So I found this font here. I don't know what it is. Swiss 921 BT. Uh, if you want to get all into it, you can go ahead and download a font, install it, and then use it in your Photoshop and everything. But this is what I'm going to use. Okay. And great, it, it looks like a nice size here. I actually have it on 43. Depending on what font you choose, that's the size it's gonna be. Like uh, the fonts sometimes vary in size. Uh, one font will be a different size, uh, anyways. So make sure when you select your font that uh, you like the size. I like 43 for this and uh, I like to place it down here so I can get a size comparison of what it'll look like in my real video. Um, that looks about good, okay, I, I like that. So next, the next step is to make this font this piece of text white, click OK. Now, right click on this layer and go to blending options and go to stroke. And let me see a stroke size of three looks good. If I put it to five, you see it's kind of big. Uh, it's not too good. Um, oops, let's put it back down to three. It looks fine, great. If you wanna add more effects, you can do whatever you want. Literally, this is up to you. I'm just showing you how to make it, uh, you know, a, a text-based watermark. You can make it whatever you want. You can make it like your own custom image. Your face can be down here, whatever. Um, this is really on how to do a transparent background watermark. I guess that's the big idea here. So anyways, um, yeah, my piece of text is now down here. This is kind of the spot it'll be. Great, I like the way it looks on this size. All right, so now what do I do from here? What you wanna do is go ahead and go to image, trim, and we're gonna go and trim the transparent pixels on everything. Great, done, good job. Now we have this kind of little image there. Go to file, save as, and this is the most important part, PNG, and make this, what, watermark? Great, save, okay, and there we go, it's right there. And now from this point on, I'm gonna have to direct you to my Camtasia Studio tutorial on how to add a watermark. If you guys wanna know how to add a watermark in let's say Sony Vegas, or the way I do it, uh, let me know, because uh, it's very simple to do. Uh, there you go. That's pretty much what you add as your watermark in your videos because um, it has no background anymore between these little things right here. There's, it's not squared off in color or anything. Um, all right. So that's pretty much how you do it. Click this annotation if you want to learn how to do it in Camtasia Studio, how to apply that to a video. Um, again, if you want to learn in Sony Vegas, let me know. Okay. So I learned in my last video that people don't like me to advertise my channels and other websites in the beginning of the video. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and advertise at the end. <laughs> Let's go and do this. Okay, so follow me on Twitter by going to twitter.com slash comp help. Check out my vlog channel where I make 
daily vlog videos on youtube.com slash vvphonevv. Check out my gaming channel. I play video games by going to youtube.com slash jerrygames. And also check out how I make extra money online and how you can make some extra money online by going to cashcreek.biz. Thank you, everybody. All links will be in the description. Please read the description. I don't know if it's going to have anything helpful. It usually does. Again, please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.